Dante Sparta. The most terrifying devil hunter in the Devil May Cry series. The Gun Devil. One of the most terrifying devils in Chainsaw Man. If these two iconic titans of the devil hunter genre were to clash, who would reign supreme? Could Dante successfully complete the job and hunt down the mythical gun devil? Or would Dante simply become just another tombstone in the gun devil's ever-growing graveyard? Enough philosophical analogy mumbo jumbo. Could Dante take down the gun devil? Well, to figure that out, we're first gonna have to gauge both of their strengths, both of their weaknesses, and analyze how a fight between the two would even play out. What the hell is this? Enough chitter chatter. Let's start with Dante. Dante is a half human, half devil demon hunting machine. Anyone can kill a demon. I did so last week. But only Dante can do so with this much style and pizzazz. Before Dante, this was called Adass because it was when Dante came along that he put the B in badass. This guy is like if the Doom Slayer and K-pop dancer J-Hope had a baby, and then that baby spent 10 years in Manhattan comedy school. You sure know how to throw a party. No food, no drinks, and the only babe just left. Dante is the founder and owner of the appropriately named Devil May Cry. This is Dante's Devil Hunters agency where citizens can hire him or his colleagues to go hunt some devils. Now this, this is Mundus, the Prince of Darkness and the Devil Emperor. Mundus is a powerful demon. I mean, you don't get those titles being a pushover. In fact, Mundus is so powerful he can just casually create entire universes. And to him, that's just Tuesday. But despite Mundus's godlike status, Dante was still able to whoop his hiney back to last week. What? Kishibe, eat your heart out. Despite what you may think looking at this guy, Dante is the most powerful devil hunter Ever. Look, I'm a big Doom guy. I'm like one of eight people that actually played Doom Eternal's battle mode. But even I know Dante would use the Doom Slayer to floss his teeth. First off, the guy is like Superman. Super strong, super fast, super reflexes, super everything. You get the picture. But being a half demon also gives Dante the ability to go goblin mode, becoming an actual demon. Going from human mode to demon mode is like Dante going from Superman to Superman <gasps> 2. This demon is called Urizen, and it is implied that this guy is on par power-wise with the Prince of Dark. 60 on page 153. <clears throat> oh, Dante already whooped his ass too. Jesus, man. Right now, this video is seeming like a no-brainer. I am glazing the hell out of this man. But just uh, m move your mouse and look at the timestamp. Yeah, we're not even halfway through this video. You'll see there's a lot more to talk about in this matchup. If you thought I was hyping up Dante as this unstoppable force, wait till you hear what I got to say about the gun devil. Before I do get to the gun devil, I have to give a quick briefing on how devils work in Chainsaw Man, because they work quite a bit differently than devils in most mediums. Devils in Chainsaw Man, well, they tend to get a little bit quirky at night. For every human fear, there's a devil that bears its name. The wolf devil, the tomato devil, the spider devil, one fear, one devil. A devil's power grows correspondingly to how much its name is feared. Not many humans on earth fear chickens, therefore the chicken devil is pretty weak. Whereas more common fears such as bats, worms, or even constructs such as the future and eternity are feared much more and therefore have much stronger demons. Now, do you think guns are scary? Do you think guns would be something a lot of humans on Earth fear? The big baddie for the first part of Chainsaw Man is the Gun Devil. Before the story takes place, we're told of a large-scale terrorist attack in America involving a big 
Tower. Ugh, I'm never gonna escape this, aren't I? This was a pretty influential event on the world, an event that fostered a massive fear of guns. This fear of guns then created the absolute behemoth we know as the Gun Devil. The Gun Devil then went on to build schools, children hospitals, just kidding it went on to kill a resilient people with its gun powers. <laughs> This all made people fear guns even more, making the gun devil even stronger, which let him kill even more people, which made the people fear him more. You, you, you get it, right? It's called a perpetual motion machine. In response, all governments completely banned guns and censored any gun-related disasters in an attempt to quench the public's fear and therefore reduce the gun devil's power. It did help to some extent, but there's only so much you can do. So now that we know what demons are like in Chainsaw Man, and we have a pretty good profile of our homie the Gun Devil, it's time we go in depth with the strengths, feats, and abilities Dante would have to go against. The Gun Devil is one heckin' big chungus, a real chonker, if you will. We are first introduced to the Gun Devil with some information on its last attack. In five minutes, the Gun Devil was able to travel from the USA, across the Pacific, and all the way to India, killing a total of 1.2 million people in its path. Holy moly. The Gun Devil blasted through cities, completely obliterating anything in its path, kinda like a big bullet. Mind you, this is just the Gun Devil's movement. This isn't the Gun Devil attacking. We'll, we'll get to that later. The Gun Devil is so powerful that simply moving around the Earth kills 1.2 million people. What a fat ass. This guy on Reddit even made a graph so you can visualize which countries the Gun Devil f the hardest. Everyone say thank you, Vid Vidhirande. All of this, all of this carnage isn't even what the gun devil can do in combat. This is all just collateral. If you thought the gun devil sounded OP now, wait till you hear. In chapter 75 of Chainsaw Man, the gun devil appears once again. This time only for a measly 12 seconds. But during those 12 seconds, we got to see what kind of abilities the Gun Devil has in combat. Physically, the Gun Devil is massive and is made of an entire arsenal of massive weapons capable of shooting bullets that can decimate entire cities. Furthermore, the Gun Devil also has a couple very specific bullet-based abilities that Dante is gonna need to be able to counter. The Gun Devil has the ability to fire a bullet through the head of every adult male within 1,000 meters of the Gun Devil. So for Dante to fight the Gun Devil at all, we're gonna need to figure out if Dante even has the ability to either survive a bullet through the head or find some way Dante could either block or dodge the bullet. In the original Devil May Cry, while Dante is fighting Mundus, he was able to dodge Mundus's beams of light. Light travels hella fast. There's a reason scientists believe the speed of light is the fastest speed in the universe. And Dante, he's just dodging them like it's nothing. Bullets travel significantly slower than the speed of light. But it's kind of insulting to assume that the gun devil's bullets are only as fast as Tucker from Louisiana's AR-15. Earlier, I mentioned how the gun devil traveled from the USA all the way to India in five minutes. In fact, we get a pretty detailed look at the route the Gun Devil took. An internet user by the name of Silver Fang Noor took all this information, ran it through the calculations, and determined that the Gun Devil traveled around the world at a speed of Mach 407. Now I cannot confirm nor deny whether this math is correct or not, for I am not a nerd. Dude, shut up. Silver Fang, I'm trusting you. To put the speed of Mach 407 into perspective, the fastest fighter jets in the world don't get much faster than a Mach speed of 3. That's a pretty big gap in the numbers. 
Unfortunately for the Gun Devil, Mach 407 is still a snail's pace when compared to the speed of light. For those curious, the speed of light is over 874,000 Mach. So yeah, Fighter Jets 3, Gun Devil 407, light 874,000. I guarantee you, if Dante can dodge attacks going the speed of light, he would have no problem dodging a shot from the Gun Devil. But what about a bunch of shots from the Gun Devil all at once? Look at this guy. Look at all those guns. If the Gun Devil decided to open fire on Dante, he wouldn't have to dodge one bullet. He'd have to dodge a whole barrage of bullets all at once. Luckily for us, we have the perfect example of what it's like to suffer a hailstorm of lead from the Gun Devil. In Chapter 76, the Gun Devil stops shooting wildly at random civilians and begins shooting all of its bullets concentrated at Makima. All of this over a distance of 500 kilometers. That is the size of entire US states or across full European countries. I cannot imagine it's easy to land your shots accurately at such a distance. In a single second, Makima dies 29 times to the gunfire. I can't imagine it's easy to land your shots accurately at such a large distance. So 29 hits on a person in less than a second is mad impressive. But Dante is no pushover. Makima just kind of stood there tanking the hits. No way Dante would let some devil scuff up his Michael Jackson hat with its demon bullets. Can Dante dodge a flurry of concentrated gunfire over 500 kilometers? Oh, 100%. For Dante to fight the gun devil, he'd need to close the gap. If we assume the gun devil engaged him at a distance of 500 kilometers like it did with Makima, then it would only take Dante 0.0017 seconds for Dante to reach the gun devil. You know what, let's even assume Dante can only react to light speed, but can't actually travel it himself. Even if Dante was going 1 100th of light speed, he is still going 500 kilometers in a fraction of a second. And once Dante successfully closes the gap to the gun devil, it's over. Dante Sin Devil Trigger could slice this thing to pieces. But the gun devil still has one more ace up its chamber. Everything I've said so far about the gun devil, all of these images of the gun devil, all of its abilities, aren't actually the full gun devil. This is 20% of the gun devil. The gun devil's body has been separated, split up into many small pieces. In the story, we're told that the USA has 20% of the gun devil's body. And it's the US president who summons it to kill Makima. If we're pitting Dante against the Gun Devil, I don't want to cheap out and have him fight 20% of the Gun Devil. I want him fighting the full 100% Gun Devil. Unfortunately, we never actually get to see the Gun Devil at anything above 20%. So what a full Gun Devil entails, we simply don't know. But let's assume that the Gun Devil would be five times faster, five times bigger, five times more bullets, shooting at five times the distance. Could Dante still defeat the Gun Devil? Yes, I think he could. Dante beat Mundus, and compared to Mundus, the Gun Devil is nothing more than a coughing baby. The Gun Devil shares the same strengths and weaknesses guns do in real life. They offer tremendous power at range, but lose their advantage once the gap's been closed. No matter how many guns the Gun Devil has, Dante's goal is always to simply rush the Gun Devil to close the gap and bring the Gun Devil into a melee battle. Because 20%, 100%, goddamn 1000% Gun Devil gets absolutely shredded by the Devil Sword Dante.
And you know what? Dante wins so hard, he even takes a little detour on his pursuit of the gun devil to go blow Makima off the planet so hard Nayuta is born in a wheelchair. This is just what I think though. If you think otherwise, please call me an idiot dumb dumb face in the comments below. I had a lot of fun with this video. You should go play Devil May Cry 5. That's a pretty fun game. Oh, and I guess like, go read Chainsaw Man or something, if you want. I don't know. Okay, bye.